Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be working on the first steps in turning this into a carbon fiber part. All right, so I guess I should give a little backstory as to why I'm turning these into carbon, right? Um, so I had the original, which looks like this. They get kind of poopy after a while and they look bad and they're gross. Um, but it broke. So then I went to my local auto parts store and I got what they had, which was a plastic one to replace it, which whatever, the original's plastic, that should be fine, right? Um, yeah, I replaced it and about a month later, I was at the gas station, opened the door, and uh, it just ripped the end off. So you can see the difference in the ends there. Um, yeah, what it's supposed to look like. So just this part stayed in the door, this part came off in my hand, and I thought, you know what? I haven't built a uh, carbon fiber part in a while, so why not try something new? So, so today we're going to be turning this into a puck, um, basically to get it ready to create a mold. So yeah, let's get to it. So one of the first things I'm gonna do with this is I'm actually gonna clean the part because you can see that we have dirt inside of here. Um, and then I don't really care about these numbers or these letters up here or the Ford emblem, like that'll be really hard to replicate uh, coming out of a mold anyway. So that doesn't really matter to me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is give this thing a good sand, um, probably with 200, like 240, probably with like a 240 or a 180 grit sandpaper. 320 grit sandpaper, my bad. Okay, one more thing I want to do to this is get rid of these bumps, right? They're kind of deep, um, and I don't think they're really necessary. They give like a little texture when you grab the handle. This would be this hand. Um, I don't know. I think it'll be. I think it'll feel better smooth, and it will be way easier to reproduce um, without these, as far as the mold goes. Um, an alternative, I guess, you could like cut a few of these out and make the spacing bigger, or maybe cut them all out and it'd just be empty if that's something that's a concern for you. Um, maybe weight weight uh, reduction or something like that. But um, for overall functionality, um, feel, and then strength of the part, um, I think it's just fine to just kind of get rid of these. So I'm gonna use some regular automotive Bondo. Um, one of these two, or I guess this one, this one on top fill these up and kind of smooth out some of these weird edges. Uh, we got some weird transitions here and up here and then uh, maybe fix this a little bit as well. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do next. So I think we got this where we want it to be um, as far as like flatness and the shape we want, uh, getting rid of all the ridges and you know just the overall way we want this to look. So now we're ready for some primer. So the primer I'm going to be using is this Duratec primer. It's kind of, it's a two part primer with a catalyst here. So it'll dry, it hardens really well and it polishes pretty good. So we're going to be able to fill in a lot of these little, these little weird voids as well, like where the body filler isn't. Uh, doesn't have a good transition, so we'll probably end up doing two coats of that. But uh, all I do for this is I'll put it on this. This is just a sanding block um, with a spacer, and then I put a 
and then I put a screw through that bottom hole and I just screw it into that sanding block so it kind of stands up just like that so now I can hold this or whatever and maneuver it while I'm using my other hand to spray so yeah next I'm gonna drop down this plastic so that my table is nice and clean and uh, we can spray primer so So the gun that I'm using for this is going to be this Harbor Freight gun because it's $15. So it doesn't really matter if this gets messed up. It's 15 bucks, I can get another one. Um, you're supposed to have a little bit bigger tip on this. Uh, I think this is a 1.7 or 1.8. So I think this it calls for like a 2.0 or 1.8. So this is this should be right around the right um, right size to spray this part. So yeah, let me put the catalyst in there. We'll put it in the gun. We'll get to spraying. all nice and hardened up got a uniform finish um, you can see where I smudged it there on accident but so yeah now we're just gonna hit this with a 400 grit um, kind of smooth down some of the transitions and the weird bubbles that are on there um, and then we'll do another coat of the primer and then we can go about wet sanding to our final finish so so yeah let's do it 400 and then a quick recoat So we've wet sanded this down to about 2,000 grit. It has like a little bit of a sheen on it now. So now we're about to, about ready to start polishing. So these are the polishes I'm going to be using. This is a compound polish, a little bit finer polish. Should get this thing nice and shiny. 
Um, there are specific con uh, polishing compounds for um, things such as this or like gel coats and stuff. Um, this is for paint. This is primer. What could possibly go wrong? So uh, we're going to give it a shot, see what happens. Well, here it is, all nice and polished up. It's not perfect, like a perfect shine, but it's gonna be good enough for what we're gonna do with it, because it's gonna get clear coated anyway. So we just want it to be able to come out of the mold well and have a decent finish straight out of the mold. So yeah, there it is, all polished up. I ended up running these each two times, so um, I think that's about all it's gonna need. Uh, yeah, she's pretty nice, honestly. Well guys, that's all I have for this video. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully it was interesting. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer all of those. Uh, and then stay tuned for the next video in this series. It should be us making a mold out of this part. Um, yeah, as always, thanks for watching.